Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Thursday, the 15th of October. I'm James Spann. A cold front blowing in here tonight. That's going to bring a big change tomorrow. Highs dropping in the low to mid 60s. And some of you might see some scattered frost by early Saturday morning. How about that? Here we go. This is the upper air look across the country today. Got a trough carving out across the upper Midwest that'll be digging to the south, pushing that front in our direction. That was the surface analysis late this morning. The front was on by Memphis, approaching the northwestern corner of the state. And you can see a few clouds mainly behind the front, back in the cooler air. But for Alabama, the sky is mostly sunny, and we are fairly warm at 225, mostly mid to upper 70s on the board, Birmingham at 79. However, behind the front, Memphis is down to 63 with a chilly northwest wind. And again, we'll see highs only in the low to mid-60s over the northern half of Alabama tomorrow. Freeze warnings in effect for parts of Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, Wisconsin, Iowa, Minnesota, and also for parts of the Great Plains as the cold air drops on down to the south. No severe weather expected through tonight. This is tomorrow, and this is Saturday. Keep in mind our severe weather season does crank up in November. That's not that far away, but typically October is pretty quiet in terms of severe storms. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Heavier totals to the north for Alabama. Basically nothing. It's going to be pretty dry for the next seven days. Tropics, things are quiet now. That wave approaching the Lesser Antilles fizzled out, so no issues for the next 48 hours. Now, this is the five-day outlook. They've got a couple of circles on the board, one over the southwest Caribbean, one to the south of Bermuda. But, again, we'll just watch those. Something to watch. This is the... Uh, possibility of tropical depression formation coming from the European Ensemble, and it's basically got the same two areas highlighted. So we'll be watching, but the Gulf looks quiet for now. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS, the 12Z run valid tomorrow at 4, big trough in the east, and a cool air mass. The front comes through tonight in dry fashion. Tomorrow, sunny, breezy, and cool. Highs 62 to 66. This is Saturday. Early in the day, we're going to see the colder pockets well down in the 30s with a chance of scattered light frost. Birmingham probably will see lows around 40. Uh, the high Saturday, 70 to 73, just glorious. Beautiful, beautiful day. Sunday looks good. Uh, the high should be in the mid-70s, lots of sun. We note a front north and west of the state, and the front hangs up north of Alabama Monday. Uh, Monday, the high should be in the upper 70s. The sky partially sunny. Tuesday, the front again north of here and dissipating. Uh, partly sunny with low 80s. The same thing on Wednesday. And this is a week from today, Thursday the 22nd. Big trough up in the northern plain states, ridging over the southeast. And again, there might be enough moisture for a couple of isolated showers, but obviously nothing widespread. We'll go out 10 days. This is Sunday the 25th of October. Pretty impressive trough digging down over the central states. And that could push some more cooler air ultimately down and through here. Uh, and we note... The GFS depicts a tropical-type system on the northern coast of Cuba. The European says no, but again, I would fully expect one or two more tropical systems before the season is over. I'd say there's a high chance they stay east of the Gulf of Mexico, but again, no guarantee on that. This is the rain for Birmingham off the GFS Ensemble. The mean between one-half and three-quarters of an inch. And we could see some rain returning in about uh, 7 to 15 days from now, but probably not too much. Temperatures, the big cool down is tomorrow. Then we go back to near 80 for the first half of next week and then more cool air that following weekend. And hot off the presses, the new CPC outlook. This is for October 23rd through the 29th, suggesting temperatures here near or maybe a little above average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. There are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more.